What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. And today's app sheet episode is actually a continuation from our previous recent uh, episode, which is the sync delete. And this is actually a continuation from the request or comment from uh, Mr. Rana Muhammad Afzal. And of course, prior to posting the video, there is of course similar comments from Roy Smark and Said Limas asking on the same thing uh, which uh, with regards to what about uh, sync edit means to say if an edit is done in another table it will update in another table a different table with the same information now, if this is your first time seeing this, uh, I would highly recommend check out the previous episode, which is the sync delete in the description down below. And if you have done so, then this is uh, going to be something quite straightforward. And with that being said, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, guys. So first things first, talking about data. We will be using the same data tables that we have on our previous tutorial, which is the sync delete uh, episode. So I won't be going through uh, all. So we have the details and access, the usual one. Now in the app, we'll just jump straight to the actions. The other day we did the delete where we have the action that uh, executes the delete function but for today we will learn on how to do the edit so first things first for employee access uh, which is uh, talking about the access given to the employees we have the edit info okay so edit info where in employee access for my case I want to update the department and position. So for department, I am using the lookup expression, looking up this, the unique ID, comparing it with the unique ID in the employee details, which is my master data, and the department column. Likewise, for position, similar to that, the only difference is the extraction part. In this case, is position. Now the reference action, which happens in the employee details, the reason why, just to recap, whenever I make my changes in the employee details, let's say there is a changes, there are some changes in terms of the department and position for uh, an employee, therefore the edit should uh, refer to the right uh, employee ID. So in this case, for edit action or to trigger the edit in this case for a record of this table uh, in employee details we will then execute an action on on a set of rows the reference table therefore will be the employee access and the reference rows will we will make some uh, selection basically the unique ID is equals to this row unique ID. So I added a uh, added a new column called AID stands for access ID. So this is reason uh, I'll be showing you the reason why. All right. So The reference action will use the action that we have added earlier in employee access, which is the edit info. So the lookup functions that we add earlier. So now once we have two of these actions in place on both sides of the table, we will then move on to the automation part of the app where we have the edit employee access bot. So for me, I've added the uh, event for the employee details table. When there is a data change type for ads and updates, 
Okay, so condition, I uh, purposely use the is not blank unit ID. Okay, so edit access from database. So we will run the data action, which is the edit other table data, the action that we add in the employee details earlier, which will trigger the reference action, which is edit info. And now let's give it this a try. So let's say we have uh, John Smith. Maybe he changed to the a new department, which is human resource. And his position will be senior manager. All right. So this is his ID. And there you can see the edit happened in the employee access as well. Let's try this again for, let's say, employee with uh, ID 04. Let's say he changed to ERP and he is the general manager. So when I save and in his access 04, we'll change to ERP and general manager. So this is how you do edit sync in AppSheet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and drop a comment if you find this video useful. And of course, keep the comments and questions and requests coming so that we'll have more episodes with regards to AppSheet. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so that you may find more contents like this in the future. I'm Aris Azahar. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.